Hey guys, so this video is going to be all about my top three perfumes and I'm going to throw in a couple honorable mentions as well. So if you're on the market for some new perfume, maybe this video will help you out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I couldn't have a top three without, well, any of these three, but okay, I don't know where to start. So I'm just going to start somewhere. So I'm going to start with Stella McCartney Pop, which I think might be my all time favorite. This is just something really interesting. It smells like Barbies. And I first heard of this perfume from Kathleen Light. She was talking about it. I had watched a video of hers and she was talking all about how she loved this perfume and how it smelled like Barbies. And it was so weird because that day I had gotten a sample of Stella McCartney Pop. And I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, she's right. It does smell like Barbies. It's got this really sweet scent to it. It's hard to explain. It's not sweet as in like food sweet. It's like a florally sweet. And then here's how it like comes out. Cause I didn't know, but you like actually press. It has a really nice mist to it. It doesn't taste good. I'm always trying to take this off. You don't take it off. You actually spritz it from this. And I have, I think the one ounce size. So this is a beautiful scent. I think it's great all year round. I wouldn't call it like a summer, winter, fall, any type of that. It's a very soft, girly scent. Just go smell it if you've never smelled this before. This is probably uh, my favorite fragrance of all time. It's really different. If you're a girly girl, I think you will really love this. I think the bottle is really cute as well. I love the pink and I love the clear. I don't know, I just think it's really cute. Next in my top three perfumes would be Prada Candy. And this is again something I had a sample of and I fell in love with it. This I would describe as more of a winter scent and it's more of like a sexy scent because when I smell this, I smell like burnt marshmallows slash like kind of like burnt sugar or something. It is a very sweet scent. I love sweet scents. There's something sexy about it. Like it's got kind of like that sweetness, but it also has kind of um, like a caramel scent. I want to say there's kind of like a smoky sweet goodness to it. I love it. It definitely, I would describe it as like a winter, like winter candy scent. Oh, it's definitely got kind of like a caramel vibe to it, which I do believe that is one of the notes of this perfume. I will try to put like the notes of stuff on the side so that way you can kind of know or I'll put them down in the description box. But yeah, this is like my all time favorite like winter scent. And this is a scent that lasts all day long on me. Go smell it. It smells so, so good. I love it. This is like a treasure of mine. Like as soon as I had a sample of this, I became like obsessed with it and I had to have it like. It was just on my mind all the time until I got it. So it was one of those type of things. Like I definitely cherish this in my collection. And then here's like the spray bottle mechanism of it. I'm always curious because sometimes bottles are weird and you're just kind of like, you spritz it out of here, what do you, what do you do? Okay, so to round out my top three, and then again, I'll mention some honorable mentions at the end because I love perfume. So I couldn't just mention just three, but if I only had three scents to choose from my whole life, like these would be it. Whoopsie. Okay, so the last one I'd pick would be uh, from Burberry. This is my Burberry, and this was one of my very first perfumes right here. This isn't a super sweet scent. This is more of like what I would call a spring summer scent. It is a floral, and it's a very like clean floral. Something about this kind of reminds me of like like shampoo, kind of the way a really good smelling shampoo might smell. It's got a really beautiful bottle. I love just the classicness of it, and it's just. It's like a clean, refreshing floral. There's something about it that gives me kind of like energy, and gives me kind of like clean vibes. It's almost got like a um, after rain kind of floral smell in the best way. Like it's, it's one of the most beautiful, interesting floral scents I've ever smelled. And again, it just smells very clean and very girly. There's no like mustiness, no like heaviness. And this is also a perfume that lasts so long. And you only need like one spritz of it and it's a very like, you're good. It's not, I wouldn't say it's strong, but it's there, you know? So you get a lot of bang for your buck, I think, with this perfume right here. And again, just go smell it and you'll know what I'm talking about. I feel like it's very hard to describe perfumes. I'm trying my best to describe them for you guys. I know it's hard, but yeah, this is, there's a reason why this is like in my top Three. This is a, a really, really exceptional perfume, really beautifully done, very classic. If you're a classic kind of girl, I think you'd really like this. Okay, so now for some honorable mentions. Um, okay, so I have some from Victoria's Secret, and Victoria's Secret makes some of my absolute favorite scents of all time. So here's three of them that I really, really love in particular. Oh, I actually have a fourth one too. 
I love Victoria's Secret perfumes. They're like definitely like that's like my favorite place to go for for scents. So my absolute all-time favorite from Victoria's Secret is the Heavenly Angels, or I think it's just called Heavenly now, I'm not sure. It used to be called like Dream Heavenly Angels, I feel like they've changed it a lot. But this is a really beautiful, clean scent. This kind of reminds me of soap, like that's the best word I could use to describe it. It's just kind of like a soapy smell, it's very soft and I love it. This is definitely like, this was hard not to put in my top three. For sure, because this is like one of my all-time ride or die favorite perfumes ever. And then these two other ones are very sexy and the body, which I love the I love both of these. They both smell very clean. This one does smell very sexy. Well, they all kind of really smell very sexy, but very clean, beautiful, sexy scents. Kind of this one's like more of a florally sexy scent, and I do like the frosted bottle of it. And then this one I got in like a Christmas set a few years ago, it's just plastic, but this is in the red tubing, so it's more of like a sexy, clean, floral scent, I don't know. I'll put the notes down below for you guys, there might be too much on the screen to put like the, the, the notes on the sides of me. And then this one's also from Victoria's Secret, I love Victoria's Secret fragrance, uh, kill me now. Like that's what I go in there to spend my money on is all their like beauty stuff. Okay, so this is the pink fresh and clean. This is an OG ride or die scent right here for me. I love this. I will always love this. I hope they keep this around forever. This has kind of like a sugary with like a drop of lemon, I feel like. Like a drop, just a little tiny drop of like lemon in it. It's weird, but it's a beautiful scent. It's clean, fresh, florally. That's like my type of scent. Really girly and sweet. And then lastly on my honorable mentions, this is a little perfume. It's from the brand Tokyo Milk, and this is in the color Dark, or Tainted Love, I'm not really sure. This is a very, very sexy scent. <sighs> it's very vanilla, caramel, maybe a little musky as well. It's definitely a nighttime scent. I will put the notes somewhere, but this is a beautiful scent. It's very different. It's almost kind of masculine, but it's got like a softness to it, very much so. Like very much a soft masculine friend. French fragrance. Sorry, I've been filming all day. I'm getting kind of like jumbled up on my words, but this is by Margot Elena. I don't really know much about this brand. I see it at Sephora all the time in like sets, and I think they have beautiful packaging. So like their packaging always makes me want to smell their stuff, and they have a lot of interesting different scent combinations, I feel like. Yeah, I would definitely love to explore more of this brand. I think they make some really interesting creations. It says dark vanilla bean orchid white tea and sandalwood. So yeah, this definitely has like a sandalwoody type vibe. And then it also, you probably won't be able to see, but they have like little black flakes in them. And I feel like those are like the little vanilla particles because they break down like right on your skin. It's very sexy. So I feel like this would be great if you were going out on a date or something like that. Whenever I wear this, my boyfriend's like, what are you wearing? And it lasts all day long. Like I put this just on my wrist and I will smell it like on my clothes all day. It's very potent, but it's nice. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful at all if you're on the market for some new perfume. I love perfume. I collect it. Even if I don't really like the scent, I love collecting perfume. I think they're beautiful. I think they're timeless. So again, I hope this helped you out at all. Let me know what your favorite scent is down below and if you have any perfume suggestions for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!